Hi, I'm joined by royalty this morning with the winners of the 2023 Miss Poway Scholarship pageant that was announced last night. So this is very exciting this morning. Miss Poway 2023, Karoshi Nanavati, Miss Teen Poway, Rashika Kulkarni, and Miss Junior Teen Poway, Emma Polston. So ladies, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And I should say there's nine total members of the court uh, with princesses, but you three were crowned queens, right? Yes. Okay, Emma, you're just adorable. I'm gonna start with you. What do you think of the new fancy hardware on your head? It's heavy, it's very <laughs> heavy. I love the honesty. Yeah. This was this happened last night. You are the Miss Junior Teen Poway. You're a sixth grader at Twin Peaks in Poway. Yes. Talk a little bit about this process and what it was like to go through this pageant. So it was really overwhelming. When I got crowned, I was like, whoa, me. <laughs> the process, meeting all the girls was so fun and they were all so kind and it's just like the best way to meet new friends. Yes, yes you, you, you deserve it. So what was the hardest thing about going through this pageant? Um, I think it was going on stage in front of a whole bunch of people because there was like 200 people in the audience and talking in front of people can be nervous but I think when you're confident in yourself it goes pretty easily. I think so. Do you have a plan for the scholarship money that you earned through this process? So I'm going to put it in my college. Um, I have a college account saved for when I go to college which I'm not going to yet because I'm in sixth grade but it's definitely saved. Mom, well done. <laughs> That's exciting. So uh, do you have an idea of what you want to do when you're older? Um, I want to be a medical doctor because medical doctors heal people and I want to heal people just like them. I think that's wonderful. Congratulations. I hope you'll come back when, when that happens, Emma. And good morning. Good morning. Now you are a junior at St. Francis Parker, right? At Francis Parker, Francis yes. Parker, okay. <laughs> what was this process like for you? I think it was just really fun. It was really nice to be surrounded by a community of people that I could call sisters. It was just a really fun process overall with like the makeup, the dresses, the, the crown. Like it just all feels like royalty almost. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think that's how it's supposed to feel. There was a process through this. You had to do Saturday and Sunday. There were, there were some interviews and then impromptu questions on stage. What was the most I don't know, nerve-wracking part of all of this? Definitely the impromptu, because you were literally just drawing a question out of a bowl and answering it on stage, on the spot. So you just don't know what you're going to get, and you just have to think of an answer on the fly. So that was definitely the most nerve-wracking part. Do you part. remember what your question was? It was, what does courage mean to you? <gasps> I love that. <laughs> what did you say? I talked about taking risks and trying new things, even though you're afraid of doing so. Um, I talked about theater. That is one of my biggest risks that I took, because I was super shy when I was young. Young, so theater just helped me get out of that shell. That's wonderful. And what do you plan to do with the scholarship money? I would use it for college. I'm a junior, so senior year is coming up pretty quickly, so definitely for college. And plans for your future? I want to major in biomedical engineering uh, in hopes from the pre-med track. Wonderful. And I know that there's a lot of volunteering that comes with this role as queen. What do you plan on focusing your volunteering hours toward? Yeah, I have a nonprofit called Art For You, and it focuses on creative art therapy as a healing mechanism, so definitely promoting mental health and the importance of it, since it's such a prevalent thing in our society today. Wow, that's wonderful. Already a nonprofit. Wow, I need to do more with my extra time. Congratulations again, Thank Rashika. You. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to Kuroshi. Uh, and I understand that you had, this is your second year doing this pageant? It is actually my third year. Your third year. Yeah. And then last year you had about 500 hours of volunteering. I was able to volunteer 350 hours, all combined, and in Miss Poway, I combined, I was able to volunteer about 139 hours. Wow, that's yeah. wonderful. What is, what is your passion when you volunteer? I think that being able to volunteer is something that I'm really grateful to be able to do because I'm able to lift heavy things, I'm able to be able to walk around and help people in that capacity, and I also have the time to do it. I think a lot mm -hmm. of times we get caught up in our busy lives with work and family, and being able to volunteer is something that I am able to do as a student, and I have the time, and so I love being able to donate that time and being able to give back to my community. And most importantly, it's helped me grow so much as a person. I remember when I first started competing in this pageant, and also first started volunteering more out in my community, I was so shy, I didn't know how to talk to people, 
people very well. And now I'm standing before you as Ms. Poway. And so it really just goes to show how being out in your community can help you grow as a person as well. Absolutely. So what do you plan on doing? I know the scholarship money is it's different for you because you're a second year student at Mira Mesa. Is that Miramar right? Miramar College. Miramar College. Yeah. Okay. So you obviously were going to be applying this money towards more schooling? Yep, more school. <laughs> um, I want to become a PA in the future, a physician's associate, mm -hmm. and so the scholarship money will help me with my bachelor's degree as well as my graduate degree. That's wonderful. Well, congratulations to all of you, and I I just encourage all the wonderful work you're doing in the community of Poway, so thanks for being here this morning. Can we do a parade wave? Okay, all right. <laughs> we'll take a quick break and uh, much more coming up. Keep an eye out for these ladies making a big difference in our community.